Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. If you're new, thank you for joining. Please subscribe if you if you want. Um, so today I'm going to be working on these six Xbox 360 controllers. They've all been tested. They all work, except that they're just, you know, cosmetically ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean them up, replace some of these uh, thumbsticks on the ones that are damaged, and make them look... A lot better. Uh, I've got all the uh, back covers here for these. Some of them are not OEM uh, like this one here. This is a generic one. But uh, most of them are OEM. Uh, this is not OEM. This is OEM. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, cleaned and looking better. I did have three that were not functioning and those I will be working on on a different video because those are going to require more in-depth uh, troubleshooting. But for now, let's take care of, of these that don't require any troubleshooting, just a lot of cleaning. So we'll start with, let's start with, with this one. All right, let's get started. So the first one is going to be this one here. And we need to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seven screws underneath the bark, uh, the serial number. And to remove this, to remove these screws, you need a T8 security bit, and it's here's. You can pick these up at Amazon. They're about four four dollars for the screwdriver. This is the one that I picked up from Amazon. So let's go ahead and take these out. Now for the last one, you can either just puncture this and um, you know get to the screw like this, or use a heat gun and remove the, uh, the uh, loose up the adhesive so you can peel back the uh, the sticker. I'm going to use a heat gun. So it's actually a, a hot air workstation. Okay. Much heat. Pretty dirty. Bunch of sweat and who knows what else. Take all these out, take that out, take that out, take these out. These are going to be replaced. Um, little membranes, take these out. What else? Let's take out the directional pad here. That one. Where's the other one at? Oh, there it is. That one, this one here. So this one has two screws and a pair of clips that sandwich the uh, the pad in place. So take the screws out. And then you can grab some pliers. I don't know if you can see the uh, the two little clips in there. Just grab some pliers and squeeze both of the clips together. And that should release it. Hopefully not broken. Nope, looks good. That's what it looks like. Set that aside. Set that aside. Now let's work on this one here. Take this one off. 
let's take out this here and that way we can take this out now let me take out the motors now I'm not gonna take off oops I'm not gonna take off the triggers themselves I'm just gonna clean them on 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 this it's a lot easier to just clean them clean them on the actual board itself on the logic board rather than try to take them off and break something accidentally so I'm just gonna leave them on there and clean them manually carefully and here's the other part so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in some water to let them soak and give them a good cleaning Okay, so the first part of the cleaning is done. Now I just need to remove some of these darker spots that I couldn't remove with the soap and water. I'm gonna be using the magic eraser for this. So let's start with this one here. I could see some here, some here, here, and on the controller, I mean on this part here, up here. Let's see if this one disappears. Sure did. Beautiful. And you have a bunch of, I don't know what that is. It looks like someone was wearing a ring when they were playing and they just scratched it all up. But all that disappeared too. Okay, let me see. I see a little, little, little dot right there. I mean, now I'm being very critical, but Let's see if it comes off. It looks like a stain. Oh no, it did come off. Okay. So this one looks brand new again. Something right here. Nice. Now this one got some stuff here, here, here. And I don't know if you could see it here, but it's kind of yellowing a bit. So I'm going to see if that also comes off.
Okay, so here's the cleaned controller. Now it's time to reassemble. All right, good, this one's working. And I'm gonna do the same with all the rest. So here's the final result. Big, big difference. There's a, can I give you a comparison real quick? Kind of similar to that one, I guess. I don't know how, if, I don't know if it was much dirtier, but there's a before and after. So this one's done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with all the other controllers. So I'm gonna go ahead and film it and probably fast forward. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't want I don't want this to be a you know a two hour video. So if I find anything that's out of the ordinary, then I'll go ahead and uh, let you know. But otherwise, you're probably gonna just see a bunch of fast forward action here. So hold on. Here we go.
So I went ahead and took the, uh, this one was on the black controller and this silverish kind of polished silver silver was on this controller. So I'm going to put this onto the black controller and sw swap them out. I'm not sure if they did that when they, um, I don't know, uh, whoever, whoever uh, worked on these controllers before I did or if that's how that controller comes. I have no idea, but I think it looks better with that other with that, with that other bump or whatever this is, whatever you call this here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put it onto the other one and also put these two black thumb um, joysticks onto the black one too. So you'll see that here in a minute. Alright, so here are the final results. I think it looks pretty good. At least a lot better than what they used to look like before I started working on them. So I think they came out pretty good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you guys know what to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Have a good one.